everybody, Lauren here from Airguns of Arizona. And today we're gonna to be taking a look at the PRS butt pad for the Daystate Red Wolf. I'm gonna show you how to install it and what the features are. This one is really cool because this one has the monopod feature with it. So you're able to give your Daystate Red Wolf a little monopod that can uh, completely extend give you like a little rest back here or something like that, um, as well as put some other accessories in there. So let's jump right in. First off, we have to take this one apart a little bit so that we are able to get to the mounting screws on the inside. So I'm gonna go ahead and take it apart. I'm gonna use some of these Allen wrenches that I have right here, just loosen it back there and slide it completely off so that way all of these are exposed and I'm able to install it. I always like having a little magnetic uh, bowl right here. That way all these screws don't jump around and uh, run away from me. So all you need for this is a three and a four millimeter Allen wrench to get this part piece apart. And then for the gun, we're gonna need a two and a half as well. There we go. So we have all the pieces off and we just have this naked butt pad. Now we're gonna go ahead and take apart the back end of our gun. This is not very difficult to do. Just a four millimeter Allen wrench takes your rubber piece off, just like that. Then we have to go ahead and remove this plastic piece as well. So this is where you would need the two and a half millimeter Allen wrench to get back here in there like that and just remove it like that. Okay. And lastly, we will need a Phillips to remove the plastic piece. And now you're gonna actually go ahead and remove this plastic piece out of the wood. So be sure to use caution when removing this. Okay, there we have it. We have this plastic piece off and the gun is literally the naked wood at the end. Now we're gonna start replacing it with some of the PRS pieces. So first of all, we're gonna use this beautiful metal one and it fits snug in there. It's made for the stock. So those little parts fit into these indentations and you use the same hardware that the other one was mounted with to mount this one. So get your uh, Phillips head out again and screw these pieces. In. Now I do recommend using a hand tool because electric tools, you can't feel nicely where it goes in and you don't wanna split your stock or, or put it in skew or anything like that. So just use caution on this end and uh, slow and steady wins the race, that's for sure. So we have to put this monopod piece as well as this end piece all together. If you don't have the monopod version, your screws will just be a little bit shorter and uh, you will just easily be able to, uh, to put this piece onto the back end there. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the top one in first. And it can move around on you, that's okay. It's fully adjustable at this point. And then we're gonna go ahead and put the, uh, the one in at the bottom. There we go, tighten them down nicely. And as you can see, they're nice and flush at the back end over here. We can just go ahead and grab our PRS butt pad, slide it in there and attach. And this piece is movable so you can put it wherever you like. And there we have it. It's as easy as that to replace the butt pad on your Daystate Red Wolf. Now I can go ahead and I can adjust these to fit my shoulder nicely. I can bring the monopod out like that. And that way I have a little pod at the back here to rest my gun. These I can open up, I can add a little bit of links, but it just fits, it just fits your shoulder so nice and comfortably when you're shooting that it just kind of hugs your shoulder and it's very, very comfortable and works fantastic. Um, this piece comes with the PRS chassis piece, um, but it's also able to be added onto your beautiful Minnelli Wood Daystate Red Wolf stock. So there you guys have it. 
it's as easy as that to attach. Uh, be sure to keep all your extra parts for if you ever want to switch back to your old way. From my side, that's about it. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching this and it answered some question for you. So um, yeah, if you have any other questions, please drop it down below. Remember to like, click and subscribe and I'll see you on the next one. Thank you. Thank you.